the shoes. I, I had assumed that traditional vows would be too, well, traditional for this most unique and unconventional couple. Um, okay, just a l little pause here while I uh, do some research. <laughs> See, uh, <laughs> vows. You know what? I think Sam and I can wing it. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Positive. In fact, I, I would like to go first, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Whatever you want. Hi. Hi. I love you. I have spent most of my life learning how to fight for myself. I wasn't used to having a partner, to trusting someone, counting on them to help pick up the weight. But that's what you do. You don't take away from my independence. You make me more. You don't make me less. You add to everything that I am. And you taught me that the greatest risk of all was letting another person into my heart. And you made me want to take that risk. Again. <laughs> I promised to love you unconditionally and I will do that to cherish every single moment we have together and to honor you and our family until death do us part and beyond if that's possible <laughs> I've waited too long to say this. I promised myself if I ever found you again, I wouldn't let you go. I love you, Sam. I love how fearless you are. I love your heart. I love how you are so loyal. I even love that you're the most stubborn person I ever met in my entire life. I love what a great mother you are. These boys are so lucky, they don't even know. And I love that every single part of you fits so perfectly with every piece of me. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And I promise to always put you first, you and my children. And although I might not be one for tradition or their vows, I think these fit. So Sam, I take you to love, honor, and cherish. For richer, for poor, until death do us part. And uh... Oh, uh, will there be rings? Yes. Yeah. Oh, quick, Mr. Jason. Uh, um... Okay. <laughs> Please hmm. take this ring as a symbol of commitment and my love to you. Sam, please take okay. <laughs> and wear this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. By the power vested in me, by the Church of Illuminating Wonders, by the sovereign state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>